Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review and show you why I love this Roomba J7 Plus vacuum cleaner. So this one only vacuums and I absolutely love it. I'm going to show you how well it's been vacuuming my floor. I've got the app open. We're going to use the app and I'm going to show you how it works. So the best things I like about this vacuum, I think it has great suction and does a good job cleaning. It's got really good mapping and obstacle avoidance. And I love that it it takes itself to the base station and empties itself. Okay, so let's take a look at the vacuum cleaner itself. Here's where it's gonna, it's gonna go up on the base and then there's a vacuum that's gonna suck all the debris through this right here. Right here, we've got the chain, the, this is where it's gonna keep everything. We open this up. So mine's been working for quite a while now, almost three weeks. I absolutely love it. It does empty this waste bin out. There is a filter here you do have to change once in a while. It does get a little dirty, we can see, but it's been picking up a lot of dirt and I love that it self empties itself. So here we've got the robot. It's got these dual rollers. This is a really nice feature that does help pick up a lot of debris. It's got this here, we got our wheels. So as you can see, there's where it's gonna come from the rollers. We've got these edge sensors. This is why it doesn't go downstairs. We've got these different edge sensors here. Let's go ahead and take the rollers out because I haven't cleaned these for a while. Let's see how good they're doing. You do get a little bit of hair in here, so you will have to clean these out once in a while. Okay, so here are the rollers. Again, this has been operating for three weeks. I have not taken it apart. I have two dogs, so we get quite a bit of dog hair. So you will have to take these apart and clean these. And then we got this other one here we got to clean. But the good thing about these is it doesn't get hair wrapped around the roller there. So you're going to put the roller in according to the color. The dark green one's going to go there. Okay, so these go back together very easy with this little latch right here. We're going to put the waste bin back on. It's just going to snap into place. Now around front, it does have a bumper, but it has a camera. And there is a light that's going to come on the front. This is going to take pictures of different obstacles that it sees in your house. And it's going to show them to you on the app. That is really, really neat and I love it. You can opt out of that so that it doesn't take pictures. Again, over here to the base unit, this is where all the debris is going to come out and go into it. Um, so I do like that it goes into a bag. This bag, I'm going to cut this bag open in a little bit. Um, like I said, I've been using it for three weeks. We're going to see exactly how much debris is in there. And then there's where you store the extra bags. This is just where the extra bag is. And then when it docks itself, it does charge with these ports right here. Okay, so you can see when it docks itself, it comes over here and then it's going to empty the bin. So on this left hand side, you do get some air coming out here when it's emptying the bin. So you can use the app to start the cleaning process, or you can just press the, this button here. Press it one time, it's just gonna clean everywhere. And then say when it's cleaning, if you wanna pause it, just press the button again and it pauses it. If you want it to stop cleaning and go home, you're gonna press and hold it for about three seconds. It's gonna make a little tune and then it's gonna come back home and dock. Now, when you first get one of these, it does have to clean your house two to three times. Then it's gonna create a map of your house. So when you do these first couple cleanings, you're supposed to turn the lights on in your house, pick things up that aren't normally, like this box is not normally here. So I'm gonna put this box up, pick things up that aren't normally on the ground and let it clean two to three times. And that way it gets a really good idea of your house and makes a really nice accurate map. And it's gonna uh, modify the map as it goes along. So say a couple weeks later, you had a door closed and now you all of a sudden have a door open. It's gonna go in there and it's gonna say, hey, I found a new area. Do you want me to add this to the map? That's a really neat. So if it doesn't get it all mapped at the very beginning, that's fine. It will eventually find every place and it will add it to the map. Okay, so we're gonna have it clean this room. I've got some fake dog poop and we're gonna see if it's gonna avoid the dog poop. And let's say Miss Fiona left one of her dog toys out on the floor, so we're gonna leave that. Now I did put some dog hair down and kind of some crumbs and stuff. Now this thing's not meant to do a deep cleaning with big debris. It's meant to be on a schedule where it vacuums every day to kind of keep up on the mess. But we did put some stuff in here. We do want to see how it does, you know, pick up some hair and stuff. Now there's already some hair in this room and stuff from the dog. Okay, so I've got the app open. I'm going to go tell it to clean the living room. I'm going to select new job 
and I'm going to tell it just to clean the living room, I can do one or two passes. I'm going to do two passes. And then I'm going to hit the start now. So it's going to start and it's going to go clean the living room. And see, it does have a light on the front and a camera. It's going to go find the living room because it's already mapped my house. I've already told it what the rooms are. Okay, so it's cleaning. So it's going to methodically clean this room and we're going to see how well it does avoiding things. So it's not really loud when it's vacuuming. It's a little bit louder when it's on linoleum or hardwood floors. And it kind of varies its speed too. It'll kind of be fast. And then when it gets close to something, it does kind of slow down. So I do like that it has a low clearance. It can get underneath your couch. Now it did stay away from that dog toy. Okay, so there it's going to the dog poop. It did see it and it did turn away from it. So it does see it again and turns away. Okay, so it's done vacuuming this room. It did go around the dog poop, the fake dog poop I've got, and the dog toy. Let's see how well it did cleaning the hair. Okay, so the area that it kind of went around the fake dog poop, it didn't clean the carpet, of course, because it didn't go there. But the area where it was able to go, it did a pretty good job with that. Pretty, you know, I had kind of some big chunks on there and some lots of dog hair, but it actually did a really good job. Okay, so let's go back to the Roomba app. And one of the best things I like is you got to review the cleaning and it'll show you what it went around. Okay, so in here in the app, go to history. And so it pops up this begin review. This is where it takes a picture of what it avoided. And you can see right there. So you got to do the, be it says how much it cleaned, how much, how many dirt events, um, but it had eight obstacles. So you can begin the review, click here, and it's gonna kind of load up the image. Okay, so there's the dog toy. So you can contribute this to Amazon or to Roomba's database by selecting that, or if you don't wanna send it up to them, deselect that. You can say this is a temporary obstacle, which it is, it's a dog toy. Here's the next one, there's that dog poop. That's a temporary obstacle. There's the other one. That's the really low profile one, and it found it just fine. Temporary obstacle. Now here I've got some cords. These are some cords for a video light that I've got and some other cords. So I'm gonna put that this is a, I'm gonna add a keep out zone to kind of stay away from those cords because those cords are always there. Same with these cords right here. These cords are always here. So I'm gonna put add, so say that there was no obstacle there, I could say, no, that, that wasn't right. You can go around that. So I'm going to put uh, no obstacle there. Okay, so I had my tripod. This is a temporary obstacle. There's some shoes it picked up. Temporary obstacle here. This is from a previous clean that I did. There's a temporary obstacle there. And then you're going to submit review. Okay, so it gives you a check mark. It says uh, Roomba's getting smarter. You can hit tidy up. So things that... So say you went and moved that, those obstacles out of the way, you could hit tidy up and it would go reclean that room where the areas that it didn't clean. I'm gonna put I'm done. And then you can, it did add a no go zone where I told it to on that one thing. That's why you end up with these little red dots everywhere. So every time you, you select, oh yeah, that's, that's the correct thing or whatever, it's gonna add one of those, those red obstacles. And I just really do like this, um, this app. It just operates very well. It, it, so every time you open it up, it does have to connect with the Roomba. So you will see connecting. That takes just a, oh, about 10 seconds. But after it's connected, you got all the features. Uh, let's go to product health. This is kind of a neat thing. There's that filter that's inside the Roomba. It tells you how many hours are left on it. It's even got an installation guide. You can go to click, collect, uh, click there, and it'll tell you how to change it. 
um, or you can shop accessories. You can shop these parts. Those are the edge sweeping brushes and the dual multi-surface brushes. It tells you how many hours are left on those. And then having it set on a schedule. So mine is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It starts at 8.30 in the morning and it cleans everywhere. I've got that turned on. So having these on schedule, that's how you keep your house really clean because it's constantly just cleaning the house. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna empty this. I've been using this, I think, maybe longer than three weeks now. But when you empty it, you're gonna pull up this little thing here. Pull up this little tab first. That kind of blocks the opening so that when you remove it, you don't get a bunch of dust that comes out. So you're simply just gonna remove it. It is, yeah, it's really full. And there's the opening, and then you can put your another bag in there. Okay, so here I've got that bag. Like I said, probably almost a month of stuff in here. So let's cut it open and see what it looks like. Okay, so I am blown away how much it has picked up. This is absolutely amazing. It's picked up hair, lots of fine particles, lots of small dirt. You know, this bag holds a lot. It could have held some more too, but man, does it really pick up the debris and the... The dust and all the fine particles stay in the bag. I didn't notice anything on the outside of the bag. Wow, that's a, it does a really good job. So I really love the Roomba J7 Plus. The map is amazing. I love that it has uh, obstacle avoidance. It takes a picture of it. It lets me review it. Um, I think it picks up a lot of dirt and debris. Just by looking at that bag, how much dirt and debris it picked up, that's pretty amazing. I thought the map that it creates. So maps are very important when it comes to these. And I thought the map that it created of my house was very, very accurate. And it does just as good on hardwood floors or linoleum. And it is able to switch between carpet and hardwood floors. And it does it all automatically inside. So I hope this video helps and it shows you why I really love this vacuum cleaner. Thanks everybody for watching.